Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So that's fine, and then they're going to go and pick up a load of the coal and, and things like that, so we can they can just carry on with that and then pick up all of this water. That's looking good. And then I want to dig that bit, that bit, and that bit. And then I can mop up all of the rest of this down through here as well. The rest of that can be left behind. And head up this way. So I want to be looking at what they're doing here. They've done a little bit of digging on there. And I want them, I actually want them to dig that one. So that one right there, I'm going to put that as a priority nine on that one. So they come and do that one first. Now, I am thinking that maybe a pole coming down here would be our best option. I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to do a fire pole. Because I've got a ladder over there, look. Let's stop that a second and put ladder there and there like that. So that fills that bit in. And then take a fire pole and do that down here like this all the way down to that bit right there and then go in here and tile deconstruct that one remove that one and then i'm also going to go into here take a ladder and i'm going to build that ladder straight down there next to that fire pole so that I've got a quick run up and down here. I'm just going to leave that one over there on that side. It's not very much to sort of loop out round on there. And then I've got the, the pole going in on this bit just in here. So we're just digging this out. And then they'll be able to come in and get the coal and stuff in there. And they'll also go and build these ladders there. We're, we're building all of those. Plus we'll build these bits in here. So let's go to the base and to the fire pole. Just fill that bit in. So they have a very quick uh, return journey on this bit right here, and this is going to be like this, this is going to be the last one that I want to do at the moment. I want to build all of this in round, and then I can have that water run down. We can research the volcano. We can open it all up and make good use of it. Same as we're going to be making good use of this bit in here. I am wondering about the wisdom of having the cooling system going in around there. <laughs> Uh, whether that's a good idea or not. I think it is. I think that is the right choice. I'm just not 100% sure on it. So I'll, I'll have to wait and see on there. These temp shift plates, they may take a while to heat up, I think. But that's fine. I'm, I'm quite happy for them to take quite a while to heat up. This is all normal granite underneath. Which means that that is heated right up to normal granite temperatures. So I'm kind of thinking I need to change those. I go to base here and I change them to insulated tiles like that. Whether I want to go underneath and change these to insulated tiles, but I can only do those through working up on the top there. I can't, I can't do it any other way. These guys here are... Some of these are really, really slow with their running around. You look, you look at the difference in how they move. Like, some of them are painfully slow when it comes to moving around. They really are. It, it is quite ridiculous just how slow they can be. How else? How are we doing? Right, we are now building ladder down in here. These guys are still going and fetching coal from all the way over there. The big coal thing is going to be in here. Now I've got hatchlings there. We've got hatchlings here that are moving. The stone hatchling has now hatched out in there, which means I can go here to critter and I can run down and I can go to stone hatchling right in there. I don't have a stone hatch. I've just got stone hatchling, but that's acceptable. That one can go into there. And I'll leave these where they are for a minute, and that lot up there can stay where they are for a minute. So it's just that one there that's got to be moved. And then once he's been moved, he'll be put into here, and then we've got another one over there that is currently incubating. 77%. And there's our very first stone hatchling. 
eating sedimentary rock and he poops out coal. And they do a lot more coal pooping than the other ones do. So he's giving that one a bit of love. 77, 78. Right, that's good. That is fantastic. So uh, these hatchling eggs... I want those being put into the egg crackers over here. I got hatchling egg in there. I can now do those on forever um, on that. But what I also need... Oh, wait. No, I've got it on here. I've got omelets right in there. Raw egg. We've got the raw egg in there. They'll be able to make them. What else? How else is other things going? We need to sort of keep having a look round and keep seeing how the other bits... I've got another one up here that we need to uncover at some point. But I'm not going to get to that one yet. I'm going to wait on that one. Uh, the Copper Volcano reps in another 0 0.2 cycles. I'm going to... Well, hopefully these will all be out of the way by then. We've got that one being built. i got one more insulated tile over there. This one's awaiting the delivery of iron, just to finish that bit off. And then if you look at the temperature overlay, it's quite cool in here, actually. Surprisingly so. And now that one's going to erupt in another 60 seconds. I'm hoping that this eruption here... Right, now that I've got the insulated tile, it's going to keep the temperature in here. Um, this granite down here seems to be quite hot. The temperature is, is very, very high around here. So I want to have that temperature reduced. Now you can see right here, the temperature is instantly going up. The temp shift plate right there, that's going up. Neutronium there... That's not really changing. I got the insulated tiles. This temperature isn't changing. So those temp shift plates, they've made a big difference. They're already, like, they they are shifting the temperature out. They heat right up really, really quickly. And they shift that temperature out all the way over there. And then we have bits of iron that come in here, plus I've, I've got the other bits. They're delivering the granite in here. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot in there. I can await the rest of the iron to be delivered into that one. And there's a bit of iron to be delivered up into that one as well. You're going to just quickly put that one together. So these suits that we're wearing, they also provide some heat repellent, which is fantastic. And I love the way that the temp shift plates are increasing in temp. They're increasing in temperature by quite a lot. Look. That's really helping to push that. It, it's, it is siphoning the temperature out. We've just got to wait for the volcano to erupt. Every time the volcano erupts, it's going to siphon that temperature out. That is how this one works. And then eventually it's going to melt that and we'll have some stuff in here. I mean, I could populate that with a bit of water. I know ways to do that. And we could speed up this process. But I'm not really all that concerned about it. It's not something I'm very bothered about in the slightest. So I'm just going to sort of leave it as it is right now. And, and really not worry about it at all. Um, I'm just going to leave this go down here. I've already got that built all the way up through there. One thing I do need to do is just dig those three out there. Go on, people. If you can just come out here, yeah, see, they're, they're coming down, they're looping round. If we can just remove that sand, there, now they'll be able to run in through if they need to, rather than over uh, down there and then back up again. They'll run over to this side, whichever's quickest, I suppose, really matter. They're all going up here now, and they're, de they're delivering in the materials into there. And they're also digging out the stuff over this side as well, plus... Picking up dirt, picking up polluted dirt. So long as that volcano doesn't do anything until it's ready to erupt, I'm quite happy with how things are right now. That ladder is going to need to be moved. We'll put another. Actually, you know what? I can do that right now. I can put. An, I can order another ladder being put in. I can um, ask for that one to be put into there on that side. And then I've already got the other ladders in place on here, so I don't need to worry about them. And to get water down into here, I was going to take water from this side, run it in through, and then they will also be able to, the duplicates will be able to go in here and rescue these people. I need them to rescue, like, Ari in particular. We're not rescue so much as go and pick up the bodies. 
And I've got other... Wait, I've got, I've got a lot of bodies hanging around. It's because I've filled all of these memorials. The memorials are all full. I'm going to put more of them over this side. All right, let's go to medicine. Tasteful for more. Tasteful for memorial. Let's put a whole load more of them in over there. And I did have the printing pods come up. Choose another blueprint. We got salt. You know, I'm going to reject all of those. There we go. And they can go to sleep for the night. The water that we got coming in here, this tank is actually filling up quite quickly. I'm curious if this tank fills right up to the top. Is the tile going to be able to withstand the pressure of the water in there? Because that is quite a lot of pressure in there. That is an awful lot of pressure that we will have in it. Um, I'm also wondering about the ventilation. I've got nothing stored in there. It is stored in this tank, in this pipe rather. It's building back in there, and it's building back in this side as well. So it's coming out of that tank, and it's being processed. So I've got the stuff coming out of here. But not in huge quantities, but it is it's taking all of the natural gas out, and it's making use of it. That's a good thing. How are we doing in here? We got, we got two of these in here now. Two stone hatchlings. I got the, the normal hatches up there. So what about you? You got critters. You're hatching hatchlings. But I've obviously got my full 20 in there. So, I mean, they're trussed up, but they're happy. No, I'm going to go with that dude right there. And I'm going to attack him. I'm going to turn him into food. And I'm going to go with that dude right there. Who are we? Oh, i got another one there. Right. Attack that hatch. Right in there. Meat. Hatch right there. Attack that one. There. Right. I've gotten rid of those. Now we're just waiting on eggs to be hatched. See, those, they're going to lay eggs and these will lay eggs down in here. These up here will not lay any eggs. But they will produce stone. So this one in here, hatch, hatchling. I can turn that off like that and then go down here to stone hatch. Now, they've got sedimentary rock going in at the moment. I've got more in the way of igneous rock than I have of anything else. So, I'm going to take off the sedimentary rock. And I'm going to give them id 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 igneous rock instead. And I'm going to do the same on here. I don't know if I get more coal from the igneous rock or not. But it'll be interesting to find out, because the, the hatches, they will eat any... These stone hatches will eat any stone. But the igneous rock, that's the one that we've got more than anything of. So if I can put more of that in, that would be great. Now I just need these guys to breed a little bit. They won't just yet. They're only tiny babies just at the moment. But uh, they'll get there. Now, next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to also put in some more insulated tiles. I think that's actually too low. Cancel. Cancel that. And put the digs on there. Right. I think that's a bit too low where I had it there. I want to do it sort of more like this one over here where it's slightly higher. 0.7 cycles. That temp shift plate up there has now been built. That's minus 10 on that one. This is minus 20 up here. Let's have a look at our temperature overlay again. This is looking better. And this is actually... Oh, this is good. This this granite under here is actually cooling down. The temperature on that granite is actually starting to dissipate and cool down a bit. Which is... I'm pleased with that. That's what I want. Ooh! Even better... The water is... The ice is now starting to melt. I don't know where the ice is melting from. Temperature... Minus nine. If I had, like... I may have had some sort of fall down. But now I've got water... Going up through there. 
the cycle has started. We have started up the cycle. 0 0.4, that one, and then it's going to erupt. But the cycle has actually started. 97 degrees in there. 99 over in that corner. The cycle has begun. This is everything that I wanted. Excellent. Now, does the water drop down onto the neutronium or does it flow across the top of the neutronium? There's a big important question for us. I don't know about that. What I can do is remove four of those from there. And I'm going to also remove three of these from here all the way along. And then I'm, we're going to find out what's going to happen over there. Battery banks are now completely full, just about. And over this side, this is slow going, but it is getting there. But it's not like a top priority over everything else. Right? So it's, it's quite slow just working into that. But it is getting there. It is slowly getting there. I've, I've stripped everything out down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it over and I'm going to go with insulated tile. I'm going to put that all the way along there like that. Just in case the water does sit underneath there. I'd like that to be an insulated tile so that I've got no danger of the heat sort of transferring elsewhere. I've got... With this eruption, we've got a lot of... Um, iron on the top there which in turn is heating up the temp shift plates and that is sending this up this way the water is running back down and you can see it's actually taking place in behind here that shouldn't be doing anything different but all of this up here will hopefully be causing and that is is yes look 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 ah, ah, yes minus six that temperature is definitely dropping, uh, in, rising. The temperature there is rising. That's brilliant. That's what we want. See, that's only minus three on there now. That's all sand in there. And I got liquefiable ice up there. But that one is minus seven. But look at this. It's filling up with steam. So he's not got lots of steam going in there at the minute, but he does have some which is keeping the water flowing. Which is a good thing. That's, that's what we want. And then this one is running continuously. I'm curious if I'm going to be able to research that. Temperature overlays. What are we like? What's, what's the temperature? It's 99. That's 400 degrees. Curious if our suits are going to be able to handle... All of that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that construction there a minute. So that they can come across here and they will be able to remove those once I allow them back into this room. Not allowing them back into that room yet. And I would like them to be able to come into here. I'd like to be able to insulate down that side and then back in under here. So that, that is properly insulated in there. And if you look here, I'd also like to run insulation down here as well. Just to make sure that every you know, that they all stay out of trouble and, and nothing no nothing and nobody gets hurt. But I gotta wait for all of this lot to be done first. Now they get in there. It's gonna take them a minute or two, but they are getting there now. Let me go down into the base and go to the ladder and put that one in so that we've definitely got uh, like a, a bit of safety going on over here. And then I want base, I want tile. That one. Tile along underneath those. And I'm just going to put some tile along on that as well just to help out. Why not? Because why not? I'll do something with this one as well. Actually, that, that can all be removed. There's no actual reason to keep any of that. None whatsoever. And I can have a ladder. And drop that down there like that. So that will just sort of finish that bit off. Are you going to stay up there and get stuck or something stupid? He shouldn't do because we're delivering igneous rock straight into that. And we're digging up igneous rock right here. So they should be able to just construct that ladder without any problem at all. 
and without blocking anything off and without causing any problems. There, that's what it's doing. And uh, we're building another one, and then we're building another one, and we've got that. Right, so they're all being done, and then I'm just waiting. I've got those being built out of granite. Maybe I should have done igneous rock with them as well. That possibly would have been a better move. But I'm all right with it at the moment. Now, how far off of the volcano over this side did I? I had it up a bit. I don't know if that's beneficial. The ice has melted up there. So we have had some ice melt. Now, do I use, like, consume some of the water in this little cycle that we have going on in that one? That's something I'm unsure of. This in here, we've got very little steam being released off of this. This is where the steam is all going on. So I'm, I'm wondering if I was to take a line and run it all the way down here and run more water into this, would that be a good thing or not? Like, if I was to fill this up with water and then seal it off, would that sort of stay doing what I want it to do? I don't really know at the moment. I know that I got a lot of high temperature in here, and that temperature is really helping. You can see it's... It's spreading up here away from these, which is going to cause this ice to heat up pretty quickly here. Especially with the high temperatures that we've got down here. Look at the way that that spreading that temperature up through there. That's already, like, that, that's minus 9. I got the ice up here that's minus 10, minus 11. It's heating up pretty quick. Right, just I'll leave that go. That's that's doing what I want it to at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it running. I'm not gonna do anything different with it. I'm not gonna tempt fate. I'm not gonna try and change anything on there just yet. You're also running well. You're running nicely, and you you've got that one stuffed full in there. Uh, we don't have any more of them stuffed full. It's sort of about there on the pipe. So I've only got one spare tank in there. With these both running flat out. But the batteries aren't full. The batteries are not reaching their full point. Not yet. So we're still waiting. The other bodies have been removed from here. I've only got bodies in there now. And if we have a look, yeah, I've got two of them there. So I've got a couple more bodies at least in here. I know that I've got, oh, wait, I've got, no, I've got three in there. And up here I've got Ari. So I've got another four bodies that we've got to go and pick up. Uh... Next, I want to go here, and I want to remove that line all the way along there like that. And I want to go to base. I want to go to insulated tile. And I'm going to go at this height here for the wall, the roof of this whole thing that I want to build. So that's going to go up by two more, and that's going to go across there like that. And then I'm going to put ladder on those two, more ladder up there, digging that bit out, we haven't reached that yet, I'm hoping that we will be able to reach that bit, we just haven't got to it yet, we've got one insulated tile in there that we've got to do, I won't be opening up this volcano until such time as I've completely built everything all the way round. I need to do another line of digging along here. Pull all of that one out. And then I can get another steam turbine going in there. But if I've got steam turbine, I need to extend that heavy watt conductive wire in through here. Which means I was running it up through there, through that joint plate. I'm not going to worry about the joint plate anymore. That one doesn't matter. So what I will do, though, is I will go into power and I will go to heavy watt conductive joint plate right in there. And we will use iron on this one. And that one's going to go right there like that. And then heavy watt conductive wire here will join back into the rest of the power system. That heavy watt wire right there and we'll stick with iron on that one that's going to go and join in onto there like that and i'm not going to bother with that side yet 
not ready for that side to be connected in. They can reach all of it from over here. They're not going to need to do anything different in there. Uh, Dracos. They're doing great. They're hatching slowly. They're taking their time. Why are you trussed up? Why is that stone hatch trussed in there? A max of seven critters in here. Oh, it's because stone hatch, once they turn into a stone hatch, they got... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just because they hadn't been um, hatched out yet. So he can be now turned into... A, a, um, just allowed to run around in here. Right. I have two more eggs there. I'm going to wait until once this one is full, then we'll change this around and we will kill off all of these hatches in here. And we'll have two rooms full of stone hatches and then we can go up into the next room with more stone hatches and keep that room running as well. Two rooms and then that full 20 up there. Uh, that's keeping all of them replaced as, as and when. Whether one room of 20 and one room of just seven for breeding, because if we've got seven in here, they will keep laying eggs. But these up here, they won't lay eggs because they become overcrowded. So it's whether or not we can keep them happy enough to lay any eggs. That's, that's kind of like what we're aiming at here, is to keep them all happy for laying eggs. I'm going to go... We'll let them just sort of carry on doing what they're doing at the moment. We won't worry about them yet. I'm not able to remove that lot unless I build a ladder inside here. Uh, unless they dig... No, they're not going to dig that out, are they? They're, they're just not going to do it. So I'll dig a ladder. Dig a ladder. I will place a ladder up there like that. I'll do one out that side there. Once they've gone and put all of that in, they'll be able to reach these up here. And then they can take all of those out. Go and pick up everything else. We've got slime that's being picked up. I had water right in that little tiny bit there, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, this ladder inside here, this one now needs to be removed. That's got to go. And then we'll put an insulated tile in there. And then I'm also going to want to put a, another layer of insulated tiles underneath. Right the way across, just to make sure that it stays completely insulated and clean. This side over here now, how are we doing? Minus 6, minus 8, 11, temperature overlay. These temp shift plates are actually in positive temperatures now. So it's very quickly converting this ice and melting it. Uh, the copper volcano erupts in 0 0.6 cycles. I've got quite a lot of steam down here already. I think I'm doing the right thing by having it like this. Like that supply of water that's there. That's what we want. We want the steam to go up and then sort of utilize this water up here. And then it, it just turns in steam and comes back down again. And I got all of this copper. I've also got some gold down there. Half a cycle. That one will go again. New printables are available. Have a look at them. Mirth leaf. I don't know what to do with Mirth Leaves, I'll be honest. Not really got a clue what to do with them. So I'm not going to worry about them. Now, how are we doing with our stone hatchling eggs? That is on 19% incubated. That is on 96% incubated up there, which is going to make stone hatch number 3, 97. And then that one will be put in over, which is great. So then I'll have four of them down. Here's 98%. I want to see it hatch out. Yeah, a little stone hatchling right there. I want to see that one hatch out. 99% is literally about... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. 
So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.